Hey, how's it going today? Thought I'd do a little soap video. It's my uh, hobby the last uh, year or so. These are the soaps that I make here. Recent ones, the recent soaps. The uh, African black soap there on the end. You can see the little cars. And then the uh, little locomotives. It's a handmade deal I did here. Dinosaurs, little dinosaurs. These over here by my thumb. These are uh, astrological signs of the zodiac, and uh, it's like a moth there, I guess. <coughs> so anyway, how I do this is with these forms over here, just using uh, Michael's uh, melt and pour soap. This is double butter glycerin, and this is the clear soap here. And I also make my own. Uh, Melt and pour soap from taking store-bought soap, three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree Shield or Dial, and I'd stretch it. I'd make uh, melt and pour soap using propylene glycol. I add some glycerin and it makes it more smoothing for the skin. And I also put coconut oil in. Um, you can just add water. I found is to get the soap out of the molds the best is to keep the uh, propylene glycol and the uh, water. The Called, uh, well, anyway, try and keep those items to a minimum so there's more soap there. It dries faster and uh, the soap is harder that way. Anyway, it's like the, uh, like I just got done making now, uh, this color here came from this steel. You know, so still some left in there. <laughs> yeah, it's like another bowl. I use some of my own soap. I blend my soap like homemade soap that I make and I shred that into the uh, stuff that I'm stretching the uh, thing, but you can just use a soap here. It's fine. Anyway, these are the molds here. This is like the uh, rubber silicone molds. I switched over to these exclusively now, pretty much. I uh, used to use these um, plastic kitty molds, and this is fine for the melt and pour. You just kind of pull the sides apart, and the soap pops out. <laughs> There's the, uh, you see the back side of the dinosaurs here. Take a picture of that. There's like a Tyrannosaurus rex, the brontosaurus, and I guess this is like a uh, triceratops or a stegosaurus, I think it's a stegosaurus. And uh, it's like a kitty thing, so you know, it's like, uh, here's this one here, it's a uh, bugs, butterfly, I don't know what kind of bug this thing is here, but it's a ladybug, and a moth. It's one of my favorite ones I made the little black cars out of. It's this, uh, it's like seven, eight bucks on uh, eBay or Amazon. I made a bunch of soap with the cars. You know, this is the one that the railroad, the locomotives came out of. It's like a whole tray of uh, locomotive deals. Put my back into it there. Okay. <coughs> this is cool. I got this one from Walmart for like a dollar because it was out of the package. It's uh. It's got the characters from uh, Ice Age. I say it's maybe See, because this is a hard plastic. The um, soaps are a little bit harder to get out of here, so I usually just use the pure Michaels melt and pour soap instead of my own. When I tried to use my own soap blends with the uh, Michaels, it didn't come out so good. It didn't come out of the mold so well. And I got a little car on here too. So my little love bug, the love bug. But anyway, that's how I've been jonesing, spending all my time lately. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.